Okay, good morning students. Today we are going to learn on covalent bond. Covalent bond is formed through sharing of electrons between non-metal and non-metal elements. Now, as you can see here, non-metal will share its electrons with another non-metal elements. The rule of sharing is they must share the equal number of electron each from its valence electron. Okay, when I say non-metals, that means the bonding is formed between the elements of group 14 to group 17. Now, let's look at group 14. Group 14 needs how many more electrons? If I say group 14, they have four valence electrons, right? So, for them to achieve a stable of that electron arrangement, they need another four more electrons. So, for that reason, what they will do is they will share their electrons at the valence shell with other elements within group 14 to group 17 to achieve a stable duplet of that electron arrangement. If I say group 15, they need another 3 more. Group 16, they need 2 more. Whereas group 17, they need another 1 more electron to achieve a stable octet or duplet electron arrangement. Now, when they need 4, 3, 2 or 1, how are they going to do the sharing? Whether they are going to share all their electrons to achieve stable electron arrangement or what? So, it's de it determined by the number of electrons they need. How many they need that much of electrons they need to share? For example, if it's group 14, they need 4, that means they need to share 4. If group 15, they need 3, that means they need to share up 3 ele valence electron of them with other elements. Now, how the bonding going to form between the compound is determined by the other element going to share with them. For example, let's say group 17. I take CL. When chlorine, it needs one more, that means it's going to out of Okay, this is called limit structure. Now, we only show the valence electron eh, by putting dot or you can use the cross. Okay, chlorine will have seven valence electron, right? So, that means it needs one. So, you need to share out this one with other elements. Get it? For group 16, let's say I show you for oxygen. Eh? Now, oxygen, the valence electron is six. So, we use Lewis structure. In Lewis structure, we write the symbol. Then, we show the position of the valence electron using dot or cross to represent the valence electrons in the valence shell. Now, oxygen have 6 valence electrons. So, it needs 2. That means, it need to share 2 electrons of, out of 6 valence electrons. So, you put the 2 for sharing first. Then the balance out of 6 got 4 more, right? So you place it top 2, bottom 2. Or you put here also, it's okay. Get it now? So this portion is the sharing part with other elements. Okay, as I told you just now, so this 2 valence electron will be contributed for sharing with other elements because they need 2. Okay, let's say they are combining with another oxygen atom. Then another oxygen atom also need to contribute two valence electrons for sharing then the balance we have four more so this is called Lewis structure or you also can draw this two oxygen atom they are sharing how many pair of electron class yes they are sharing two each right so when they share two pairs of electron each we can draw it just two line so this is shows Lewis structure for formation of oxygen molecules. Okay, let's say I talk about group 15 now. I take the example is nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen have five valence electron, right? Okay, when it's five valence electron, nitrogen from group 15, it needs how many more electrons? Three electrons. So you allocate the three electron for sharing. Okay, so the balance we have two more. Then it shares another three electron by the other atom of nitrogens. 
So this will be the Lewis structure or you can draw it as two nitrogen atoms. They contribute three electrons, three valence electrons each for sharing so that they're able to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement. Hence, nitrogen molecules are formed.